What I was saying off, what I was saying off camera is, I don't think it's mad at all to swear like in a sentence to your partner. So like, say my my partner's annoying me, or like we're having an argument, and I say to her like, "You're fucking pissing me off." Like I don't think that's bad. It depends how you, which way you take the the question really. But like, if I was like swearing at her, mm. where I'm using words like. I'm calling her like a fucking bitch or something. Yeah, I, I yeah. can see how that is bad. But what if you what if you was just to say fuck off? No, I don't think that's bad. I I I, I do that daily. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, no. Nah. Not like Yeah, okay, it's too late now. I'll do it daily, yeah. If it's if they're annoying me <laughs> and I'm in a mood, yeah, and mm. they've and they're purposely trying to annoy me or argue or just something, I can I can tell a girl to fuck off, yeah. Or piss I I do fuck off more than I do piss off, but piss off is underrated. Just piss off. Just <laughs> piss off. <laughs> Mine isn't vicious, like, like, fuck, like, fuck off. It'll be like, just fuck off. You know what I mean? Yeah. There's two mm. different, there's two, and yeah, it depends how you read it. It depends on the person. Because yeah. they can read it like, fuck off. But I'm saying it like, oh, just fuck off. There's, Two completely different things. It is. It, it is different. It is different. Mm. Um, I don't even know. Like I was saying to you, man, off air, like me and my girlfriend right now, like in an argument. At least since we became like serious, like I've never saw at her. Sorry, I need confirmation from the partner. I don't. Believe, say? I don't believe you. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> mums. Like I've never said fuck off, piss off. Has she ever done to you? Fucking annoy me. She swears more than me. To be fair, I'm trying to think if she. I don't think she's ever said it at you, at me. But there's more chance that she said it to me than I've said it to her. But like, it's weird, isn't it? Like, because if you ask her, she'll say like, "I have no emotion. Like, I don't react strongly to things." In it, <clears throat> and that's not always what, been the you case. Don't. Yeah. Oh, okay. And that's not always been the case, isn't it? Like in the past, I've been so like I'm emotion. I'm an emotional person, and I'm passionate about stuff. But like in a relationship, at least this relationship, I'm just not really like, obviously I get emotional and shit, but like I never react emotionally. Like when I'm pissed off, how I react is like, cool, I'm gonna just go be here by myself. But I'm very conscious, I think. Well, I don't even think about it, it just happens. But I don't say anything I could regret anymore. So yeah. But yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't, I think it's unhealthy. It depends on the people, but like, I would rather not. You know what I mean? I think it's like a slippery slope. Yeah, I think you're spot on. That's what I think. I think it does definitely matter case to case, but in general, I don't, I don't think you should do it. Mm. Like, yeah, same. Nah, don't do that now, so <laughs> Like, I just think once... Once you start with that, the possibilities are endless. Like, because mm. yeah, I completely disagree, man. Bec- no, do you know why I say that? Because I think you're never going to swear at someone in a nice way, are you? Yeah. Like, really and truly. I'm not going to say, like, yeah, oh, you're, you're a fucking cunt. Yeah, like, so it's always going to have bad connotations. And once you, I feel like once you feel comfortable breaking that, that's like the first barrier to break. Next thing you know, you're punching a rap, bro. Yeah. And no, nah, no, nah, but that's dead ass, like, yeah, that's like, real, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll How agree. the fuck did we get no, there? No, no, no mums, though. If you really deep it, yeah, like, cool. I've sworn, sworn at you. I've been aggressive in that sense. Once words aren't enough to get across my aggression, then it's what's the like, what's the next yeah, step? Yeah, yeah, that's it. Cause hey, two twos now, you are actually mad, isn't it? You say something or you swear in like hope of like, nah, like you're trying to show I'm being serious and Mm. like, yo, fuck whatever you say in it. And then she just fucking scores it off last week and so what the fuck you gonna do? Yeah. I mean, if I'm being God's like on my life, yeah, if I'm being honest, when I asked, answered the question in my head, I was answering it from me texting, 
not in person because oh, I I'm wouldn't on. because I don't think I'd do it in person. Oh, I'm on about because most, I'm on about in, per- in yeah. person, really and truly. With, if I'm with my partner or someone I'm seeing or something like that, and it gets to that point where I want you to just fuck off, yeah, I'll remove myself from the situation or I will just stop talking, and you can carry on and I won't talk. But on text, I'll tell you to fuck off. Yeah, that's. <laughs> I don't do it either way. Like, I don't know. It's more accept... No, no. It is more... It's accept- more under... Mm, no, that's the wrong word as well. It happens more in text. It's it? less detrimental over yeah, text yeah, 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 than yeah. it is in person. Yeah, I don't think I'd do it in... P- Actually, no, I don't know. I would. You definitely would, don't it? Oh, shit. I feel, like <laughs> if you, I feel like if you have the possibility to do it over text, you, you have the, the possibility to yeah, do it in I, person. Well, like I said talk, earlier, yeah. anything I'll say over text, I'll say to a person's face. Mm. But... But I don't know. That's weird, actually. No, I could, I could, I, and I would. I, oh, I, don't I know. really <laughs> find I really find it techy. It is techy, yeah. but I don't think it's as deep as you lot are going, as you two are going on. I feel. I just think I just have a different opinion on it, and I don't know why. I can't even tell you why I have this view or how I formed this like concrete conclusion, but like. In my head, it's just it's just not the thing to do. Mm. I can't explain it, but it's like if we're trying to create like a prosperous relationship, that's mm. you know what I mean, going somewhere that means something. I shouldn't swear at you in my moments of anger, and you shouldn't do the same. Yeah, know what I'm saying, and it's like it's both disrespectful and just like there has to be lines. You know yeah. what I mean? Like there has to be lines. Like I feel like there's so many so many things you can derive from it. Yeah, you like, know what I mean. You see, for example, Sam. Mm-hmm. You see people that you would swear at. Yeah, they're people that I think you have little to no respect for. I don't. I completely disagree with that statement. There, I think the people I swear at is the people I feel most comfortable and closest to, and I'd, that's just the way I am. I don't know why. I, maybe it's different for you then, because I feel like for me, maybe once again going to how I'm like raised, like my mum and dad never wanted me to swear. Yeah. So I would never yeah. swear. Like I've had bad language. Like my friends have told me I had bad language. But as soon as I step into my house, it's I would never ever swear. Yeah, no, that's facts. So like around my mum and dad or people I respect or even like you lot as my friends, I will never like swear at you, like call you yeah. a, a effing cunt or an effing prick or I effing hate you or effing leave me. Like I would never ever say that to one of you lot. So if the people that I would say that to, for me. I either don't like you or don't respect you. Mm. So for me to get to that level with a partner or with mm. a girlfriend or someone I'm seeing, it's got to a level where I actually don't want to be around you anymore. So like... I agree f- with that as well. But <laughs> from that alone, that's why I don't think I'd ever swear at my girlfriend or like yeah. whatnot. I might say it jokingly, don't get me wrong, like yeah, we're having banter, yeah. but yeah. When, we're, when we're being dead ass serious, I wouldn't say that. And then if someone said it to me... I'd feel like, right, you don't res- like, you don't respect me, then yeah, you don't rate yeah, me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you know what I mean? So I, just, I don't know. I feel like it's a. T- I agree with every. T- honestly, it's completely different to what I said, but I agree with everything you said. But I don't know, man. It, I think it's just the way some people talk. Yeah, no, nah, it is. It is hundred percent. It is the way some people No, but talk. I don't swear a lot. I don't know. I don't know. I just feel like I can tell. Don't get me wrong. It's not a fucking daily thing where I'm telling my girlfriend if I had one. Yeah, no, nah, it never would like, be a daily off. thing, though. It but never like, would if be. you piss me off to a point where like I'm like, I need you to leave me alone, I have no, I, I wouldn't have an issue with saying fuck off. But don't get me wrong. I wouldn't do it if that person didn't do it to me. So if I'm the only, if she's never sworn at me or anything mm. like that, I'd feel less comfortable with telling her to fuck off. How would you feel if, like, they done it first? Told me to fuck off. Yeah, or just I would, said I, I just fucking stop. hate you. Or so, like, oh no, I've had that bear, and I've done, I've, I've said that bear. You know how many times I've been, I've been told I fucking hate you. Damn boy. A lot. Yeah, nah, it's not for me still. And ask me how many times I've cared. A lot. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. I just think it le- the <sighs> Yeah, I just AJ, think- you've never. No one's ever said to you, I fucking hate you. Yeah, but I've not said it to other people. And if someone has said it to me, it's definitely like... Yeah, I've always said it jokingly. I've never said that, yeah. 
Like, oh, I actually fucking hate like, you. Like, bro, shit, shit, like, I'm I'm very, like, a very laid back person, but I remember shit. And do you know another thing that, that genuinely annoyed, has annoyed me in the past or got to me in the past mm-hmm. when, and I remember one girl used to do it a lot. She'd be like, you're actually annoying. Like, we'd be seeing each other <laughs> and she'd say to me, like, messing around, but like, you know, it's messing around, but half serious. Like, yeah. you're annoying. <laughs> like, you're, you're annoying me. You're actually annoying. Like, eventually it got to me, like, yeah, and I was like to her, like, nah, don't say like, don't say that edit. Like, even if you're joking, don't say that to me. <laughs> and that's a bit, some people can say that's a bit like touchy See? and whatnot, but that actually, eventually it, it got to yeah, me. Bro, bro, this is what I mean. In that exact situation is when I tell you to fuck off. <laughs> if you keep saying to me, you're annoying, you're annoying. Fuck off then. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, no, I don't know, man. I don't if, know. if it was like serious, like, Oh my god! Like you're actually annoying. Like I don't know what you mean. Like the jokey. Like oh, you're actually being like you're actually annoying me. But if it kept happening to a point where it bothered me, fuck yourself. That's that's what I mean though. Like you see, the annoying thing was bad enough for me. Mm. So then now we're stepping up to swearing at each other in situ like in situations. And back to the tweet as well. You know the tweet was like in domestics. This was another thing I was thinking. I feel like if you get into a heated conversation or an argument with your girlfriend, boyfriend, significant other, and to get your point across, you have to swear at each other or whatnot. I just think that's bad communication. And I'm not the be- I'm not the best communicator at all. Don't get me wrong. I struggle at times with communicating uh, with a girlfriend or whatnot. And friends, but, he doesn't reply to me for like three, four days. But it's like I just think it's like. But it's like back to the respect thing. Like, do you really need respect. to? Do yeah, you, I think like, that's respect. Do we really need to talk to each other like that, even if we're, even if we're not on the best of terms at the minute? Like, because mm. one of them, you're angry at me, so now you're saying what you really think. That's how I view it, anyway. So, if one of your friends told you to fuck off, would you find it disrespectful? Like, if I not if we like a talk- girlfriend, not from a friend. No, no, like me. What uh, if you told me to fuck off? Not just randomly said AJ fuck off, but like say we're like. Ha, like arguing about something whatever and I say oh AJ just fuck off would you be like nah he don't rate me he d- he's disrespecting me mm, a little bit but not not nowhere near as much because we're males yeah. and like I feel like that language is I it's, think, free, I think it's easier and no nah, I would be angry don't get me wrong I'd be angry but I wouldn't feel I wouldn't feel as disrespected as it as much as I would if my girlfriend said it to me, would yeah, that proper bother not. you? Yeah. What if she was like, "Fuck off!" Like dead ass serious, told me to fuck off. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it, it, it'd bother me. It'd bother me too, especially for me. It's different because I've never heard. It. I'd be like, "What the fuck?" And I'd be like, <laughs> "Shit, bro, you, you be on the low trying to get over me or something?" <laughs> shit. Um, but yeah, and I'm trying to think of it like a male sense, but I've never. I don't. Not that I remember. I don't think I've genuinely ever had that. Maybe. Like proper serious fuck off. So you never had that. I don't want to talk to you. Go away, or I don't want to talk to you. Just fuck off. No, I'm talking about male aspect. Obviously, from, from girls. Friends. Oh yeah, yeah from girls. Yeah. In okay, the past, okay, okay. I definitely have, and that's what I mean. And in the situation where I have, you know what I did? I did the same fucking thing, bruv. And I was like, there was a time where it was like, you're a fucking hoe. Shut up. You know what I mean? Mm. Like proper like. Shit that I like cringe at when I think about it. I'm like, well, what the fuck was wrong with me, yo? You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> bad, bruv. And just just to even show that how always turns. But I'm going to throw that phone out of the damn Sorry, 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 sorry. Just to show, like, how it always turns out bad. Like, I've been in a, you know, a, a domestic situation mm. where, like, the girls fully punch a man up. And I promise you, and this is why I always told myself I'm never gonna get into that situation again. Because I wanted to punch her back. Mm. And it's just it's just human nature. If you're hurt, something like the body says respond. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And like in that situation, you might not discern the best response. Was it in public? No, 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 It was in a yard, yeah. But yeah, bruv. And like, you know what I did, yeah? I'm not ashamed to say this. But like fucking because there was so much rage in me, I like fucking smacked the bin like. Yeah, no, it's not. You know what I mean? But it's like, but I think it is wrong because you know what I'm saying. That's how that's how angry I was, bro. Like I had to get it out somewhere. Mm. Yeah, someone put that. If that happens, if that happens a second time, like you know what I'm saying. But that's what I mean. It starts from 
you're arguing firstly and like you don't just leave each other and say let's talk on one call to like i'm swearing at you i'm getting super emotional i'm trying to fucking hurt you as much as mm. possible and then whoever gets hurt first the next response is only violence yeah. you know what i mean once words have done what they do yeah and some what i was th- what i was thinking while tabella was speaking mm. the difference between like if one of my friends said it to me and if my girlfriend said it to me mm. or if a boy said it to me and a girl said it to me is girls tend to hurt with words mm. whereas boys tend to hurt with like actions Damn, so i feel like point. if we was really to fall out it would uh, like yeah. I, not that i'd want it to happen but it'd end most probably in a fight yeah yeah, yeah whereas yeah, with yeah. a girl it's always it's only gonna ever end with words mm. so it's like that's, when, the, that's facts that's the equivalent yeah you know like, what i mean when they're when they're getting that all out to you i'm like rah this is really it then like this is how you really really feel about me or this how we're really gonna end and i think that's where it probably af- would affect me more because you could we can have an argument you could tell me to fuck off and by like tomorrow we're probably going to be cool again do you know what i mean like yeah mm. but <sighs> yeah no nah, it's not the swearing yeah. thing it's just not for me man it's tough, yeah, yeah. And sorry, I'm talking bad this episode. No, no, it's but fine. this goes back again to mm. being raised. <coughs> I never heard my mum or dad swear ever, mm. and so especially not at each other. Like, so I just feel like it's just an unhealthy trait to have to speak to each other with such such a lack of respect. I never did in English. <laughs> I swear, never. <laughs> now my mum calls me bastard like like it's my nickname yeah mm. but like i obviously only swear in english yeah but yeah like i never heard my mum and dad like now i do because like i can i have only ever spoke to my dad other than when i was fucking a kid that i don't remember in english i speak to my mum in my my other language but yeah like i never heard mum them swear but like i don't know maybe it was my siblings <laughs> yeah i don't know yeah, I just do think like like we I feel like we say this every episode, but it just it really does go to upbringing. Mm. I like because when I really think back, I always think, bro, like um, not that I followed everything I was taught, yeah, but like if I did, like I'm raised right in terms of like I was told to do the right things, blah 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 blah. Obviously, I might not listen to everything, but like I've always seen like a good display. You know what I'm saying? Mm. But then there was a time where I couldn't explain my behavior to you. You know what I mean? Like the things I would, might say to girls are like, and why I think it goes back to upbringing because like when I really deep it, I've never had like that male to say call it. So you, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, now yeah. you're chatting to girls, blah, 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 blah. This, like I didn't even see that. Obviously my mom taught me the right things, but I didn't see it. You know what yeah, I mean? Like, yeah. and that's why I think it goes to upbringing. I think if you have a man there who puts you in check, you will probably feel a bit different about fucking screaming at a girl and yeah. shit like that. You know what I mean? Yeah, most definitely. Um. So yeah, I think it does fucking go back to that as well. But yeah, I just think it's unhealthy. Love like, makes you do mad things. Uh, Say love. Diet. That's yeah. right, bro. Being yeah. man, like <laughs> my biggest highs and okay, I won't say that in it because I have passions and shit, but like. In love, like I've had some of my biggest highs and some of my biggest lows. Yeah. And like my moments of like, yo, what the fuck? You know what I mean? Like, hey, yo, just- what the fuck? <laughs> 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 you know what that reminds me? Have you man seen that um that knockoff like haunted house with like the Marlon Wayne's brothers? Oh, I've seen yeah. that. And your Keisha, where your furniture? <laughs> 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 oh, I love it. But anyway, um, yeah, like moments I've just done something I didn't even think I had in me. Mm. Just in the name of like love or like my feelings are so intense and it's like, which is mad. And it? it's mad we just feel that way mm. as humans. Like we get so attached to something or someone. Yeah. Yeah. And it makes you do just crazy fucking shit. Like, bro, it makes people kill. Like, it just mad shit. Love, love makes people do crazy shit. I was speaking shit, to. to a- I won't mention names, mm. but two of our friends earlier, I was discussing it. If one, Did you said two of them. There was two. Yeah, 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 me and two others were sat having a discussion, having a discussion, 
And um, I'm not, I wasn't one of these. I know I filled in the sentence, but I wasn't one of these. <laughs> no, you wasn't. Um, and we were discussing, me and one person were discussing if the other person had ever been in love. Yeah. Because me and one person have, like, like we had been, yeah? Yeah. yeah. And we're 25. We're all 25 around this ta- around the table that I was, yeah. to be honest, 46. Around the table we was at. Yeah, you, me, just, bruv. you just keep lowering them numbers down till people be able to point out who you're talking about. Right? <laughs> and um, like he was saying, like, nah, like, I haven't. And then we would like me and the other person were just saying, like, and the other person said, he was like, then the person was asking us, like, oh, like, does it count if like you've had like a long talking stage with someone and like then it hasn't worked out and like you feel a bit upset. And we was like, no, like that doesn't count. We're talking about like a serious, you were in a relationship. It ended one, for whatever reason. And that feeling where like. <laughs> nah, wait, I need to wait, 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 wait. Just so I have context. Yeah, yeah, carry on. You know the person who hasn't, yeah? Yeah, 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 yeah of course. Um. <laughs> <laughs> so now you know the person the person who has yeah. was like saying to him like until you <laughs> you're gonna feel a thing where you gonna feel you're gonna be physically sick <laughs> when that first one hits you because like when it happens to you younger like you think oh my god this is the end of the world and you can get through it, whatever and then you realize okay like mm. you get past it at the point and then you think oh my god like, I didn't even, then you meet someone new and then you, as you get older, you think like it gets stronger, blah, blah, blah. Then you look back at the old one and think like, I didn't even like her. Mm. He's got to a point now, he's 25 years old and he can't say that he's ever been in love. And the other person I was speaking to was saying it's going to fucking hit him. Like a ton of bricks. Like a ton of bricks, bro. Because don't let it get from 10 years from now. And if you're heartbroken now, cry. Not a problem. 25 years old, cry. He was saying, cry, not a problem. If you feel like you don't want to eat your food and you want to go through that heartbreak, go through it. But just don't be 35 and doing it because then you're a fucking waste man. <laughs> oh. <laughs> bro, I was fucking in tears. Oh, you That's still real, remember though, to work bro. in the morning, that Fam. <laughs> bro, you get it. That's why I encourage, like, not encourage, but I feel like it's important, it's good that you you, you be in a few relationships. By the time you're like mid twenties, yeah, no, you know I what agree. I'm saying? I like, agree. bro, you just you learn. So I've always said, like, I think it's it's probably the best way to learn in life. You know what I mean? To me personally, you know what I'm saying? But like, bro, because you need to know what that feeling is like to love, to get out of love. Because like, yeah, bro. Because you don't want to experience falling in love or falling out of love when you're fucking living with someone you know what i mean it's mm. like yeah 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 y- you need to experience that at, the, at a young age yeah a young age where you can still bounce back and have no like long-term repercussions yeah bro but it's mad it's mad have you never been heartbroken 100 bro yeah i mean, eh, I mean nearly everyone who's been in love has been heartbroken i don't think i've been as heartbroken as most people though I don't All feel right, like hard I'm man. Le- no, no, no. Like, but I don't <laughs> oh, you're I'm, hard. No, I'm say, I say that in the sense that, like, mm. I don't think like I've been in, in in love as much as most people. So when you lot are saying it, like, I understand, but I don't feel mm. I can relate as much. Why do you feel that? Yeah, but no, because it only takes one time to understand what we. I don't what know because I just feel like I, sometimes I hear people talk about it, and I'm like, that's not how I felt. Yeah, no, I felt like that. Uh. But then I think like, yeah, I've been in love, but then I think not how other people would have described it. So I don't know. Maybe I'll just view it but a bit differently. It, it is different for everyone, yeah, I guess. Um, yeah, bruv. I do, ugh. It's mad because you can't... It's something you can't actually explain. You know what I mean? Because mm. some people might say it's like... It's the feeling like you would die for once for someone. It's like... But it's like... Is that real life? Like, it's just... Yeah, you can't put it into words, but you just know it. Mm. You know when you're in it. And you know when you don't want to get out of it, or you, pff, I don't know, bruv. It's just. So, what are you thinking of? <laughs> Love is so beautiful, man. Big man thing. It is beautiful. I do think that's what we're ultimately created for, fully. I know that sounds fucking cheap. You think? Shit. I love it, man. Fully. Being in love, yeah. Obviously, like, that comes with, when I say, like, love also comes with reproduction. 
Okay. Yeah. That's why I think like that's gonna be like what you're gonna do. Obviously, then then that's the final outcome of that love, and then you love your child. Yeah. But love in the sense of love, that's what we're meant to do, bro. Like being fully. in love is amazing, man. Yeah, yeah. Some, some. <laughs> I don't know if you're taking a piss or nah. What. Being serious, bro. <laughs> it actually is, isn't it? Why is it so amazing? I don't know. I just like. I just like. I just love love. How about that? You watch Hitch too many times, and you love. <laughs> oh, bro. That's what it was. I don't know. Maybe I'm just. But you see the opposite side. <laughs> Do you think? Yeah. <laughs> I've been sitting on this for 10 minutes. I didn't want to ask it, but... <laughs> Great. <laughs> Uh-oh. AJ, get ready. Obviously, you might have been... F- all of us have fallen in love at least once. Is it just once for all of us? Twice. Two. Possibly two. <laughs> He's like, she, she's watching. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah. <laughs> he just worked out who subscribed and who watches the channel. <laughs> Before I say what I say, I was going to say, actually, like you saying, um, when they say stuff, we need to, I was thinking today, we need to like all uh, maybe go through our DMs or whatever, what we can remember. Like, I want to see, have we had more, and it's not even about the pod, isn't it? It's just about like just humans, isn't it? If you've had more positive feedback or negative feedback, as what? Just like as as us as the pod, you as the I pod, mean? yeah, yeah, yeah. Like oh, feedback, def- definitely more positive because I don't think I'd get a negative. And I mean, like, I mean, like as a like when people actually make an effort, message you and message the pod. You know what I mean? Yeah, but that's what I mean though, because mm-hmm. they make the effort to message and contact mm-hmm. me regarding a positive comment. They no one would go out of their way and say. Fucking hell, that episode was shit. No, I disagree. You think? I feel like people... Well, have, I haven't had any of them, so I feel maybe, like yeah, people have it's... said more nice things, but that's in conversation. Yeah, I feel the same. I feel like when people have reached out to me first, it's only ever been negative. Negative. That's, um, what, that's how I feel. Completely opposite for me. Or, or, or the examples I can think of in my head like don't get me wrong people have said a ton of nice things yeah. they said oh, I watch it I like it da, da, da. but that's only after we've started an initial conversation yep I was literally about to say that that's so it's weird like, it's first they're talking to me it's like yeah by the way because yeah. I only say that because the other day I was obviously looking for I was looking for a DM in it and our pod page like made you think as I was scrolling down I was just seeing like so many people that have messaged in the past and it's like, I clicked a couple of them as like, just paragraphs, bruv. Of and negative? It's, yeah. And it's like... People we know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could, they're still on there. You can look at them, innit? <laughs> <laughs> wow. But it's like, it's mad, innit? Because like, I'm, I'm willing to me. bet like you, whoever you are, we have, obviously we have up to 70 episodes now. Surely you see more than the one episode, but only in the part of the episode where you feel negatively do you mm. reply. And it's not specific to the person or us, but just like, just as humans, we just focus on that 1% bad and we have yeah. 99% positive. Yeah. That's, a, that's a thing though, isn't it? Like loads of people have said it. Like you could post mm. something, get 99 positive, like amazing comments. If one person says that bad thing, that them 99 yeah. people didn't mean nothing. Yeah, that smart. one bad thing is the thing you're going to focus on that's going to bother smart you and ruin your day. Life. See, those are the things that, those are the type of things I want to conquer in life. Like, I want to be able to just not take that to heart. You know what I mean? Mm. Those are the things I'm like, bro, like... Bro, imagine it on, like, a fucking mental scale. Like, we're talking about the messages we've received from the podcast. Mm. Imagine it on, like, a global scale, bro. It changed the way you do it. You know what I mean? It bro. changes you as a person.